In this video, we're going to try and prove that angles inside of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So let's have a look at our first triangle. Now, the way we're going to prove that these angles add up to 180 degrees is by using a straight line. And the first step in doing so is to color in each corner. Now that we've done that first step, the next thing to do is to rip off the corners. And this is the fun bit. We can just get in there and rip it off. We've got a corner, our second corner, and our third corner. And we can get rid of this part of the triangle now. And what we have here are three different corners. They've all been colored in so that we can identify them as separate angles inside the triangle. Now, as we know, a triangle has three interior angles, one, two, and three. So just have a think for a second. How could we prove that these angles add up to 180 using a straight line. So what we can do is to arrange these three corners in a way where we can create a 180 degree angle. We have our first corner here, our second corner, we can match up the colors. So we can see they're separate, two different angles in the triangle and take our third one. And hopefully if the rule works, we should see a straight line right across the bottom. So let's have a look. And there we go. We have proven that in this one triangle, the interior angles add up to a straight line, which is therefore 180 degrees. So that proves that angles inside of one type of triangle do add up to 180 degrees. However, we want to prove it for all triangles. If only we had some more that we could work with. Thanks Hayden. So there we have it, proof that all angles inside of any triangle always add up to 180 degrees. And if you still don't believe us, why don't you have a go at home? Draw a triangle, use a ruler and make sure they're straight lines, shade in the corners and rip them off to see for yourself. So why is it important to understand this rule? Well, you may well see questions like this. You're given a triangle, two angles are given and one is missing. Now using the rule that we have proven today that all of these interior angles must add up to 180 degrees, we can solve for the missing angle. If you think you've got an answer, be sure to leave a comment down below and we'll let you know if you're right. Thank you for watching and be sure to like our page for you to see future videos.